Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin encouraging you to run with endurance. The race that God has set before you is Tuesday, August the 15th. When you can't be certain about how things are going to go in your life tomorrow, you can be clear about how you're you're going to live for the glory of God. Uh, that's the thought I had when I was reading in Ecclesiastes recently. Ecclesiastes 11. We're encouraged to cast your bread upon the waters. Or you will find it after many days. Give a portion to seven or even to eight for you know not what disaster may happen on earth if the clouds are full of rain they empty themselves on the earth and if a tree falls to the south or to the north in the place where the tree falls there it will lie he who observes the wind will not sow and he who regards the clouds will not reap so what he's getting at uh, in these brief statements is an encouragement to live um, boldly uh, in, in courage and connection, being courageous in our, uh, in our lives as well as focusing on Taking the opportunity to make connections with people. You might say that it's a description of a generous life. Uh, you know the old saying, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And that is true when it comes to being generous towards others. So live boldly in courage and connection. And then uh, the second part of that passage is an encouragement to live a life that is devoid of excuses. It's an encouragement to keep moving forward in spite of the fact that things may and will go wrong uh, in this broken world. And instead of focusing on the brokenness of this life and offering one excuse after another for uh, why we might put our life in park, Let's trust in the goodness of God and in His purposes to work through us for His glory. So here's the here's the question of the day uh, for us: How do you use generosity? How can you use generosity to connect with others in a way that um, benefits them, blesses them, encourages them in our community? Let me pray for us today. Father, we, uh, we take the uh, moment here at just the beginning of this new day to um, thank you for your faithfulness, your generosity towards us, and that, uh, Lord, we would demonstrate that same quality in our lives when it comes to how we interact with others, to focus on connecting with them, to step out courageously, to be a blessing and encouragement to others. So that would be my prayer for us today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I know uh, several families who are uh, moving their young people into uh, their college housing uh, this week. And I know that that can be a season, a time filled with great uncertainty. So let me encourage you parents, uh, uh, challenge them to live bold lives of faithful obedience uh, to Jesus. Be clear with them. I also uh, know communities that are gearing up for back to school and I want to encourage every teacher on the Crystal Coast uh, to join us this coming Sunday in one of our worship gatherings. We're going to be praying over our teachers, asking for God's hand of blessing to rest on them as they make a difference in the lives of the next generation. 
and until then uh, i just encourage you enjoy the journey that god has you on for his glory